In the same way here, probably the initial hope uh, of the Russian general staff was that uh, there would be a more or less painless regime change with, uh, uh, you know, the, the paratroopers taking Kiev and, uh, you know, being aided by uh, troops advancing from Belarus. Uh, but if that plan ever existed, it was dropped uh, a few mm -hmm. weeks ago. Russia decided to concentrate on the areas which are populated by the Russian-speaking population in the south of the country, in the east of the country. And uh, the plan is obviously to uh, defeat uh, the professional part of the Ukrainian army, yeah. uh, basically to take out the people who can use these sophisticated weapons which had been flooded in Ukraine before uh, Russian attack and which are flooded in Ukraine now. Right. Uh, so th this is, I think, the plan right now, and uh, I think it is realistic. Uh, but uh, in general, of course, people in Russia do not perceive it as a war between Russia and Ukraine. They perceive it as a war between Russia and the West, mm -hmm. not only NATO, because obviously uh, Finland and Sweden are hostile. Yeah. Switzerland uh, basically joined Western sanctions and uh, confiscated okay. uh, the property of private individuals. So in that sense, of course, it's a, it's a war with the West, uh, uh, which Russia did not start, which the West started a long ago, and uh, we are going to withstand that war. All right, let me go to Pablo. Pablo, uh, what do you make of that assessment by the New York Times that uh, Russia has made gains on the ground? Uh, we even have the top U.S. intelligence official uh, telling Congress here in Washington that this will be, quote, a prolonged conflict. Well, the report might well be accurate because, indeed, we see very limited changes in the front lines, but those that are happening are actually the other way around. So today, Ukrainian military uh, reached the border with Russia in Kharkiv region, and generally the Russian troops have been driven away from the city of Kharkiv, which they were sharing for the last two months since the start of the war. They have tried to encircle a portion of Ukrainian troops in the east, in the Severodonetsk area, uh, they've established a bridgehead over Donetsk River to do that, and this bridgehead has been destroyed today with major loss of life and vehicles for the Russian military. So essentially they have been slowly driven back by the Ukrainian armed forces. This might take a while indeed, so perhaps several months, though so we will see. But of course the assessment that the Russians are somehow destroying <laughs> the professional component of Ukrainian armed forces simply does not hold to any kind of reality. What, ge what is getting destroyed is actually the Russian military. Okay. We weren't there down using 1960s technology right now. The missiles flying at Ukrainian cities were actually produced way back in the Soviet days, by now. And right. they've started with modern weapons. So they are the ones who are getting pummeled here, not the other way around.